Hey guys, today we're going to talk about what you never knew about Miles Teller. Let's get right into it. Number one, he started acting because he thought his drama teacher was pretty hot. Miles Teller attended the Lakanto High School and grew up in a very rural and southern small town in Florida. His first foray into acting happened by chance at the end of his sophomore year when he tagged along with a friend who was auditioning for a play. He was hooked after participating in his first production through the Mail Tribune. It didn't hurt that his drama teacher, Beth Fadee, was pretty hot, which he said inspired him to start acting, according to The Guardian. He explained to the Mail Tribune, From there, Beth kind of started basing plays around me. She saw something in me. In fact, when TMZ inquired about his instructor, he stated that Badi was aware that he thought she was very attractive, but he never acted on his feelings. When he went to college, he continued his acting studies at New York University's prestigious Tisch School of the Arts, and despite his $14 million net worth, he still owes money from his college days. He told Vulture that his business manager advised him not to pay it off because the interest rate is so low. Number 2. Miles Teller was in a serious car accident when he was 20 years old. Miles Teller was in a near-fatal car accident in 2007 and was told he was lucky to be alive. The then 20-year-old was in a car with his friends, returning to Florida from a Grateful Dead festival. His friend lost control of their vehicle while driving at 80 miles per hour, causing the car to flip eight times and eject Teller. He told ABC News the car landed and I was just laying there like 50 feet from the car unconscious, covered in blood. He was later told that 99.9% .9 of people ejected from a car that speed would have died. As a result of his injuries, he required 20 staples in his shoulder and multiple facial surgeries. In fact, rocks remain embedded in his face because removing them would cause additional scarring. Teller explained that his scars caused him to lose jobs prior to facial surgeries. Teller told ABC, When I first started auditioning, people were straight up just like, Yeah, Miles is a good actor, but it doesn't make sense for this character to have scars. Surprisingly, the actor has gone on to star in several films involving car crashes, including Rabbit Hole, Bleed for This, and Whiplash. Number 3. He worked out every day to significantly lower his body fat percentage for a role. Miles Teller landed the leading role in Bleed for This, a true story of Vinny Pazaniza, a boxer who broke his neck in a car accident at the height of his career. Pazienza had a metal brace screwed into his skull in four places as a result of the accident, and he was told he could never fight again. He defied the doctor's orders, however, and began training from his basement, eventually going on to not only box again, but to win multiple times. Teller had to undergo significant physical transformation to play the legendary fighter. He began by having blood work done, which revealed that he had 20% body fat and weighed 188 pounds. Teller worked with a nutritionist and was put on a diet consisting of protein shakes, grilled chicken, and vegetables because that was much larger than Pazienza. He also worked with world champion Sugar Ray Leonard trainer Daryl Foster. Teller trained every day for five months. He told Muscle and Fitness, once I was boxing, day to day was four hours boxing, two hours of weights, maybe another hour of cardio. He eventually weighed 168 pounds and had only 6% body fat. Number four, he learned to play the drums by himself. When he was young, Miles Teller was not afraid to be musical. He told Harper Bazaar, I was not a band geek per se. He dabbled in various instruments throughout his childhood and can now play the piano and saxophone. He also participated in marching band in middle school and a youth group church rock band. He revealed a remarkable fact in an interview with Jimmy Fallon. He taught himself to play the drums at the age of 15 because he thought drummers were the coolest guys. Miles Teller shows off his drumstick skills in the film Whiplash. The actor portrayed a student at a music conservatory who faces the wrath of the school's ruthless band leader in the 2014 drama. The musically inclined actor performed all the drumming in the film. In fact, his character is so dedicated to the instrument that he practices so hard that his hands bleed. And some of that blood on the screen is actually Teller's as he confirmed in IndieWire, I did have some blood, not nearly as much as my character had. Number 5. He is fired to play professional baseball. Miles Teller hoped to be sliding into base on baseball fields before he started memorizing lines on movie sets. He told the Associated Press, I would have gone into baseball if I was better at baseball. Then that was like my first passion. Now, as an actor, he would like to one day star in a sports film. Because he was born in Downingtown, Pennsylvania before moving to Florida, the actor supports the Philadelphia Phillies. He's even thrown the first pitch in one of his favorite team's games. In 2015, he realized a childhood dream by playing the All-Star Legends and Celebrity Softball Game, which takes place every year before the All-Star Game. He took part alongside celebrities such as Snoop Dogg, Nick Lachey, and Macklemore. He told Esquire, I tell people that I was more excited for this than the Oscars. Maybe if there's ever a Sandlot reboot, we'll see Miles Teller on the screen, because hey, I mean, it just makes sense, right? An actor fulfilling his passion on screen is almost the same as an actor fulfilling his passion in real life, because it's hard to fulfill things when you have millions of dollars anyways, it just does not feel the same. But if you can portray it through another character's eyes, I think that comes out to feel a little bit better. 
That's all for today. We'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.